Hey man, let's explore how we can import audio into a Pro Tools session. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and in this video, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to actually import audio files into Pro Tools. And I'll also show you how to import other types of files that you might need to work with during your session. Let's go ahead and jump into it. One of the main things here to remember about Pro Tools is that everything is super easy. Um, they want to make it easy for you to work with. And so when we're talking about importing an audio file, one thing that we want to do is first just go up to the file menu. Now, there are, of course, other ways, but going up to the file menu works. And why not start there, especially as a beginner? Next, we're going to come right down to import. And depending on what type of media you want to import, we can choose from this list. Import session data will allow you to import entire tracks from other sessions and other data from another session. We're not worried about that right now. Audio, this is how we'll import any audio files, like any beats or anything like that. If we have any MIDI files that we're working with, we can use this import MIDI, video, and also clip groups, okay? Today, we're gonna focus on importing audio, and they'll open up to the import audio dashboard, or the import audio dialog box. Once we're in the import audio dialog box, you can search anywhere that you may have. They have a search function over here. You can type in the name of the audio, or you can just navigate to any audio files that you might be looking for. Once you find those audio files that you might be wanting to use, you can click on it to select it down here. They will give you some information about that audio. So like, for example, this type is a WAV file. The length of it is four minutes and 39 seconds. It's 77 megabytes. Bit depth is 24 bit, sample rate 48,000 hertz, okay? And it's two channels, it's stereo audio. You may or may not need to know that. You can also preview the audio before you bring it in just by hitting this play button here. They have a little uh, volume fader that allow you to adjust the level of that preview as you're listening to it. And you can skip around to different parts if you wanna preview different sections. We have a bunch of options here in the center of this window here. We have add add all copy and copy all that's if i had chosen uh multiple files here i could add multiple files at once right or i could add them all to my session or i can copy or copy all the difference between adding and copying is very very important this is something that i stress heavily with my pro Tools certification students but i'll give y'all a little insight into this now when you add a file Right. It's simply Pro Tools will simply reference that audio from wherever its original location is. For example, if I go and download an audio file and it's in my downloads folder, if I hit add, Pro Tools will read that audio from the downloads folder. Vice versa, if I hit copy, then instead of just reading that audio from the downloads folder, Pro Tools will make a new copy and place it within the session uh, folder in the audio files folder that is created when I created my session. I always recommend that you just go ahead and copy. That's gonna be the way to safeguard yourself against ever losing or misplacing uh, your files, unlinking those files. We're just gonna go ahead and copy it over. If any sample rate conversion needs to happen, this will automatically be selected, but this already works with our session, so we'll hit done. This next window that pops up during the import audio process is asking you to choose a location to actually save the audio file by default i told y'all already it's going to default to the audio files folder that is associated with the session that i just created so i'm just going to go ahead and not change anything there hit open that audio will be processed that's that conversion process that copying process and i can choose whether i want to create a new track or drop it off into the clips list you can even choose the location um, and in this case we'll just choose session start if I choose new track and hit OK, Pro Tools will create a new track with that audio file already on it. If I choose clips list, then that file will get dropped off into my clips list and I'll have to drag and drop it onto a track. All right, we'll just choose new track so that we can quickly get started here. And here's my first audio file in Pro Tools created on a new track and I am ready to rock and roll. All right, child, that has been a quick look at how to import audio into a Pro Tools session. You also have the ability to drag and drop files directly from your browser or finder if you want to do that. But you need to make sure you understand how Pro Tools is going to treat those files when you drag and drop them. 
to do that, make sure you tap into my certification course. My Pro Tools user, user certification course will teach you everything you need to know about working and using Pro Tools on a high skilled level. All right. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com. I'll catch y'all soon. Thank you.